Welcome to Tiger Tradesman. That's Tim, he's the tradesman. And that's me, the Tiger Tradesman in training, or also known as Brittany, his wife. We are a husband and wife team that love to travel and adventure, and together we've developed a passion for projects. We would love if you would follow along on our journey of renovating an old ambulance into our first ever tiny home. Alrighty, so welcome to the channel, you guys. So we knew we wanted to document this project of renovating the ambulance. We knew we wanted to put it on YouTube and film it from start to finish. However, as soon as we got it, got it back to the house, we were really eager to just go ahead and jump in. All we had on us for a camera was our phone. So there's no beautiful before montage, but this is the clip of the inside interior before we started ripping stuff out. We wanted to just go ahead and see what we were starting with because we initially had the idea of renovating this into like a dream camper because we love to road trip. But you'll end up seeing with these project videos that that idea morphed from it being our dream camper into our first ever tiny home. But before that, we just wanted to see if we could utilize anything within the ambulance. So we wanted to see if this was initially insulated. So we went ahead and took out the lights. Insulated. Mm -hmm. Hold the light, please. Oh, that's easy. Mm -hmm. These things are not efficient at all. They get <laughs> really hot. <laughs> yeah, you can see they're all burnt. Yeah. Well, now we got one down. We got to get them all down. And then here's some screenshots that I grabbed from some of our later videos so you can get an idea of what the exterior looked like before we started cracking at it as well. So you see those gurney locks on the ground? Well, those are basically the bane of our existence. <laughs> um, they are a pain in the butt. <laughs> and three months later into this renovation, guess what? they're still there. We're kind of worrying about it for a later day because every time we touch them, they're not budging. So if you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. But that'll be a reoccurring theme in these vlogs that we try to tackle them time and time again and we kind of come up empty handed. We did end up removing the rear passenger seat because it was supposed to house an inverter underneath, but it was removed from a previous owner, which we did know before we purchased it. Um, and then we realized that we would need to spend a little bit more time figuring out how to remove that box. So we kind of skipped it to save for the next day, which will be in this vlog. And because Tim couldn't stand straight up, we decided to remove these ceiling handles so he could. And then we worked on removing this upper trim. It's like cardboard. Weird. With leather on it. Well, Weird. I mean, it's like really thin, like flimsy wood, so you can see it's broken here now. Yeah. And off camera, that first day, we did end up removing the upper cabinetry. And then the next day, we got the nice camera out and did a quick little montage of us removing those out and starting to really delve deep into demolition day number one. So once everything was removed from the back of the ambulance, we were able to start removing everything from this wall. So that way we could remove this big old seat and the wall behind it as well.
and then we worked on removing all of the seat belts just in case we wanted to reuse them. But spoiler, we never did. But we still removed everything and collected all of the hardware as a just in case. That way we could reuse anything if needed. We finally got the wall out and then once that was out we could take off the wall surrounding the aluminum box and then we were able to finally work on that big old seat. But while working on this we realized of course everything needed to go so we kind of hopped around. If something got a little bit difficult to kind of take a mental break we would hop over to the other side and work on removing some of the hardware there so that way all of the built-ins could be removed. That's why it took so fucking long. <laughs> hopping back over to this big seat we realized it was bolted down underneath the wheel well and one of the aluminum boxes so we had to go and remove those but some of the bolts were rusted so it took us a little while but we did eventually get it free and removed out of the ambulance So I couldn't leave in the audio because we had music going on in the background and we definitely don't want to get a copyright strike on our first YouTube video on this channel. But Tim was basically saying the next step that we need to do is remove the floor. To remove the floor we just ended up removing all of the trim and we were going to remove the gurney locks but later found that that was near impossible. So we just decided to remove the floor around it and that is what we're working on now. These gurney locks literally will not come out. So Tim decided to take it to some drastic measures. And drastic measures that did not work. So we're still stuck with the gurney locks. Well, now we'll just get back to removing the floor. So once we got most of the floor out, we went back in and got the rest of the material off from the bottom portion of the last huge built-in section here on the left side of the ambulance. Now let me tell you, this thing was a pain in the rear. It had multiple attachment points that were very hard to find. It was definitely a Where's Waldo game, but we did eventually get it out. And a real quick PSA. Make sure you're not putting any hardware that you're planning on saving in the tray in the built-in because when it's time to remove it, you don't want all that hardware going all over the floor. Okay, what'd you say? Oh, okay. All right, so the last big feat was to remove this box and there were some nuts keeping it down underneath the ambulance. We eventually realized that these bolts are just holding down the metal stands holding the box up. Let me try something different. We should be able to just lift the box basically straight out. And you realize 
is that we could just remove a few things and actually get the box out on its own and then worry about the metal later. Right. This one's gonna be interesting because there's a ton of electrical. And last but not least was this last built-in on the left-hand side. We got that removed and that wraps up this first project vlog. If you want to see us remove the last built-in up in the front right, which was a big pain in the butt, then we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching!